everybody being arrested and um, doing time in Mexico. Everybody extradited over there and doing their time there. That'll yeah. be justice for us as of now. A petition for the justice of Shankweller Robinson on Change.org has been gaining a lot of momentum as the public has come together in support of it. And in the process, they have managed to put more pressure on authority figures like the FBI into thoroughly investigating what actually happened. With its popularity as of now, the petition might be the actual solution that will put authorities on their feet to actually do their work, instead of just saying what should be done. So far, about 33,000 people have signed it, with only about 2,000 people remaining to make it the top most signed petition on change. Org. The petition explains how the events of the case have been going on so far, and it also has included a list of ways to reach out to authorities like the FBI in demand of justice for her. It's almost a new year and more than a month since Shanquella's family lost their daughter, and yet they still don't know exactly why and what happened to her. It's been more than a month since Shanquella Robinson was killed while vacationing in Mexico. And so far, no one has been held accountable for her death. The entire nightmare started when Shanquella Robinson left Charlotte on an excursion to Cabo, Mexico, on October 28th with a group of friends. Shanquella's mother stated that she spoke to her daughter on a Friday night while she was eating dinner and she was happy and alive but things drastically changed on Saturday night, when her so-called friends called to say that they were contacting a doctor because she wasn't feeling well. The friends, who have now become the Cabo Six, told the family that Shanquella was suffering from alcohol poisoning and as much as Shanquella's mom didn't know what was going on with her daughter at the time, she trusted her daughter's best friend, Khalil, who had made the call and waited to know how her daughter was faring on. While waiting for news on her daughter's recovery, Shanquella's mother got the devastating news that her beloved daughter was no more. Now the Cabo Six decided to go back to the U.S. early and left their friends Bonnie back in Mexico in fear of the repercussions their actions would bring. The same Cabo Six also visited visited Shanquella's family consoling them on their loss and trying to sell the alcohol poisoning propaganda. It worked for a while until the autopsy report arrived and debunked them, showing that Shanquella's neck had been fractured, that she had a back spasm and that there was a break. Her spinal cord was cracked. That raised the stakes significantly because it indicated that she had been directly attacked. Soon enough, in less than 24 hours of the Cabo 6 arrival, a viral video recorded by a person in the group revealed a naked Shanquella being brutally beaten by another woman in the villa as so-called friends egged the fight on. The young woman didn't even try to defend herself despite a voice telling her to, and now it was out in the open that Shanquella was attacked and the same people who claimed to be her friends had been the ones to cause her demise. The case became an internet hit with the public trying to find justice for Shanquella. The U.S. Department of State got involved and released the following statement in response to the death. We are aware of these reports. Protecting the welfare of U.S. citizens overseas is among our top priorities. Out of respect for the privacy of those involved, we have no further comment at this time. Furthermore, in order to shed light on the circumstances behind Shanquella Robinson's passing, the family contacted the Charlotte FBI field office and are also considering hiring a private investigator. The FBI has claimed to have gotten involved in the case and has reportedly intervened on behalf of Shanquella's family. They even reported her death after Mexican authorities suggested there was no foul play. But that was the only thing they seemed to have done. Sources say that an arrest has been made on one of Cabo Six allegedly Dijeni, and that subpoenas have been sent to the others for them to appear as witnesses for the case. But nothing has been officially said with only allegations and rumors spreading around but nothing, not even the mention of the culprits has been released. It's like the public is spoon-feeding the FBI with information only for it to be spit out and ignored but with the involvement of the petition, authorities will have no option but to try and prioritize seeking justice for Shanquella. The petition has requested for everyone to help find answers so that her family might rest knowing their daughter got the justice she deserved. Use these hashtags on all social media platforms to help uncover the truth. Hashtag justice for Shanquilla. Hashtag justice for Shanquilla Robinson. Hashtag Shanquilla Robinson. The petition also says to reach out to the Interpol, FBI and Office of Internal Affairs for answers. The OIA is focused on keeping Americans safe at home and abroad by ensuring criminals are held accountable for their actions regardless of where in the world they may be hiding. All the Cabo Six and Shanquella are Americans and so authorities should proceed with extraditing the Cabo Six to Mexico so that justice can be served and secrets be revealed. A fan on Twitter said, Mexico has delivered on their threat of releasing crime scene photos. Will this compromise any work the FBI is doing behind the scenes? Why isn't the Cabo Six in custody? An arrest warrant has been issued for suspect. No names have been shared. Hashtag Shanquella, hashtag justice. Another fan said, why do Shanquella Robinson's murderers get to celebrate Christmas with their families, but Shanquella's family has to do the holidays without her? Make it make sense. At FBI at FBI Charlotte at POTUS, hashtag justice for Shanquella. Please sign and share this petition to help bring justice for Shanquella Robinson. 
For more updates on the Shankwella case, watch the other videos on our channel. Thanks for watching and have a prosperous new year. Bye.